death and the clock. At my 60s, death need not travel a long way to find me. Yesterday I was 50, last week 45, one month ago 40, six months ago 35, two years ago 30, five years ago 28, ten years ago I was 15. At first I thought it was just an impression, but no, it's real, and I can't stop it. I think I have a few hours to live. March 19th, 2010. The clock strikes nine, but time means nothing. I'll be 80 in a couple of hours. I think it's been half an hour. It's difficult to keep track of time. It could have been minutes. It's hard to tell. I'm not at home anymore. I'm at work. I'm 65 years old, and it is my last day. They've retired me. That's a bad thing. I could have gone on for a few more years. My medical tests went well, and I'm in good shape. There's no point in getting mad about it. The problem is the time jumps. What will it be like when the end comes? The seconds will be months, the nanoseconds days. I have to live in the present, enjoy every minute, every second. Perhaps if I concentrate hard enough, I can stop it. If I stay in the present, time will cease to exist. It's been minutes, maybe seconds, and now I'm in my room. I look at the screen, June 15th, 2018. I got distracted and several years went by. I think of the meditation retreat I did in my 40s, that is, last week. The blank mind, they said, the detached observer. I don't do it right because I think things I shouldn't think about and that's how time gets out of hand. I'm 70. I'm at the chess club and I'm talking to a friend. I try to focus on his voice, but I lose it. I think everything is useless. I feel anxious and depressed. At 75, I feel weak. It's because of the operation. The hernia was complicated. Now I have to take medicines. Five years and a few minutes. When I'm filled with depressive thoughts, time accelerates. I I can see the end of the road. I think of the chess game, and I see the image of a knight playing with death. In the end, she beats him, but first he does something that gives meaning to his life. Eighty. Bedridden in a nursing home. Someone comes and visits me from time to time. This place sucks the will to live out of me. I don't have to think like that. I concentrate on the sensations. I try to engage with the sounds around me, but other thoughts keep popping up. I let them drift away. I simply observe them and don't get involved with them. I feel every sensation in my body. I feel the blood flowing through the veins, the energy vibrating. I focalize my attention on the clock on the wall, and I see the second hand slowing down. The energy gets more and more intense, until suddenly the hand stops.